Hello there, and welcome to Schofield Studios, and I have a question for you. Which movie are you most excited for coming in 2021? Tell me in the comments below, because today I am going to tell you the movies I'm most excited for, the top 10 movies, which is actually my first top 10 I ever did. So let's uh, begin. Number 10 is Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now, this movie only has one trailer, but they talk about a lot in that one, and it gives away a lot of what this movie's gonna be. It kind of feels like they're trying uh, to do Stranger Things, and, and that might work. Also has Paul Rudd, so that's two great things. Three, it looks like they're uh, respecting their original while not trying to live up to original, it's being its different thing, which is great when you talk about movie sequels. They are trying something different in this movie, and I'm really excited for that, so that's why I'll be watching it. Number nine is Venom, Let There Be Carnage. First of all, this movie is going to have an actor that I like, two actors actually, Woody Harrelson and Tom Hardy. If you're like me, most of you have probably had mixed feelings about the Tom Hardy Venom movie. It had problems, it was still a good movie, but it has a lot of potential. And for this new sequel, they'll probably be fixing those mistakes and creating something great. There's no trailer left though, so because there's no trailer, it's number nine. Number eight is West Side Story. This movie is a reboot of a, a movie back then in the 1960s called West Side Story, which I haven't seen. Also, it's a musical, and I don't watch that many musicals. Well, it's directed by Steven Spielberg, who is one of the greatest filmmakers of all time and only made one bad movie, I think. So, yeah. I'm excited. Number seven is Sherlock Holmes 3. Now, I actually really liked the first two Sherlock Holmes movies. I thought Robbie Downey Jr. was really good in that, and uh, the action didn't play out well, but it was still entertaining. So I've been waiting for Sherlock Holmes 3 since 2019, and it's coming out this year. It would have been higher on this list if... Uh, Robbie Downey Jr. Um, was doing good stuff. I like Robbie Downey Jr. But his last film was Doolittle, which was probably one of the worst films ever. So, um, yeah, rather Robbie Downey Jr.'s career just goes downward or this movie helps it go up. But either way, um, um, he didn't... He didn't leave us in a good movie so i have to put this in number seven number six is in the heights i really like the uh, musical or movie hamilton on disney plus i think i've watched i heard of the room where it happens like a hundred times so when i heard that lynn manuel miranda who created hamilton has another another play that is getting a movie. It's coming out in 2021. I was all for it. And if the trailer was not enough to get you excited, as Corey Hawkins and Lemon Will Miranda is in the movie. So, yeah, I am definitely going to be there. Number five is the internals. Everything Marvel has done in the last 12 years is. How should I put this? Everything has been spectacular. From Iron Man to Endgame, they've been surprising us again and again and again. Before I go on, I'm going to tell you a movie I'm not really excited for anymore. And that is The Quiet Place Part 2. I mean, I like where the first one left off, but... The sequel seems to be doing a different direction than the first one. Which is bad because I love the direction they went with the first one, so... Yeah, 
I, I don't know how to feel about that movie. Anyways, the Eternals um, sounds promising, so that's uh, number five. Number four is Black Widow. Like I said literally a minute ago, everything Marvel has done has been great. I'm thinking of breaking the movies of every phase. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited for this movie. Also, from the trailers that are pretty good, it feels like they're going to try to do a Jason Bourne movie, which is really good because I like the Jason Bourne movies. So, if you think about it, after three great trailers, a great production studio, Marvel Studios, and a great cast, this looks promising, like really promising, but not as promising as the next three. All these movies coming up, I'm 100% excited for, and I think will be one of the greatest movies in history, in my opinion, but yeah, let's uh, start with that. Number three is Mission Impossible 7, because Mission Impossible 6 was probably one of the best action movies of all time, and each movie just gets better and better and better. If you don't count that cheesy uh, Mission Impossible 2. No, not that cheesy. That's cheesy, but a little more than that. There it is. Anyways, Mission Impossible 7 will probably have the greatest action of any movie because this guy took a footage of Tom Cruise riding his motorcycle then making a huge jump to escape a helicopter. They say that it will be released in 2021, but in, in my opinion, for some reason, I think it might be released in 2022. But either way, I am extremely excited for this movie. Number two is No Time to Die. Daniel Craig has been in four James Bond movies. Three of them were good, as Casino Royale was unlike any James Bond movie that came before. Skyfall was arguably the best movie of 2012. And Spectre has probably the greatest action of any James Bond movie. Well, No Time to Die seems to be, to be taking all those things from the three movies, putting it into their uh, type of style, and smashing it all together to make something totally different and probably the biggest James Bond movie ever made on cinema. The trailers look spectacular and it has a great cast with Daniel Craig and the legendary Christopher Waltz, which is probably one of my favorite actors of all time. And that guy from that robot movie, uh, Rami, I, I forgot the name. Anyways, once it comes out, I'll be right there watching it with a bowl of popcorn. And finally, my number one most, it's most anticipated movie coming in 2021, the movie I'm most excited for coming this year is Godzilla vs. Kong. I am a huge Godzilla fan, and I've been waiting for this movie since 2016. For five years, I've been wait watching videos uh, that are making theories about what will happen in this movie. For years, I've been excited for this movie, and it's coming out this year. I've been waiting for this movie for so long, and now I'm finally there. I just hope Godzilla wins, because that would be five years of excitement for absolutely nothing. If you liked the video, please subscribe and click the bell down below, like uh, if you want to. If you think I left out any movies, please tell me in the comments. This has been Scofield Studios, where you are the audience. And...